The first step is to install the PDF for SharePoint app into your instance of SharePoint. Make sure you have downloaded the PDF for SharePoint app at the top of the training page. Save this to your desktop. Next, log in to your instance of Office 365 online. When you log in, you should see a screen like this. If you don't, click on the Office 365 icon at the top. To install apps into SharePoint, you need to have something called an app catalog set up. The app catalog is simply a site within SharePoint that makes apps available for users to install. If you don't have an app catalog, here's how to set one up. From the main console, we'll click on Admin. And once we're in the Admin, we want to go to the left-hand side over here and select Admin, then SharePoint. Once inside of the Admin for SharePoint, we want to click on Apps. Up at the top, it should say App Catalog. Now, if you have an App Catalog, it'll show up in here. If not, it gives you the chance to create one. Make sure Create New App Catalog Site is checked, then click OK. For some people, this may take a few moments. Next, we want to put in a title for our App Catalog. I'll call it Cat1. We also want to add that to the end of our website address. So here, I'll type in the same thing, cat1. Next, we want to put in an administrator for this app catalog. So I'll click the little button to the right. I'll select tenant, and I will do a quick search for myself. And finally, we need to set a storage quota. I'll put in 110 gigabytes. And finally, at the bottom, I'll click OK. Now, it may take a few minutes to allow the app catalog to set itself up. When it does, the page refreshes. And down here, you can see I now have a new site. And it's called Cat1. The next step is to go back to the left and click on Apps. Then we can go back to our App Catalog. Because we have an App Catalog set up, it no longer asks us to create an App Catalog. What we want to do is distribute an app for use with SharePoint. The next step is to upload our app. So we'll click on the Upload button. Then we'll go browse for the app that we downloaded previously. And there's my PDF for SharePoint app. And you could type some comments in here if you wanted to. And we'll click OK. And it may take a few moments, but then it finally pops up and uploads our app. Now that we have the app uploaded into SharePoint, we need to take and install it into our specific SharePoint site. So I'm going to go up here and click on Sites. And then I'll go to my team site. And once in my team site, I can click on the cog in the top right hand corner. And you want to select Add an App. Now on the left hand side, it says your apps from your organization. So I'll click on that so I can see my PDF for SharePoint app. I'll click on the app. And it's asking permission to read items in a list. This is OK. It's going to have to read the items to pre-populate your PDF. So we'll select Trust It. Then it jumps to a screen where it shows the PDF for SharePoint app is being installed. This could take a little bit. So we're just going to let some time pass here 
and let that app install. Once installed, you can see now we have the PDF for SharePoint icon and the app is ready to use inside my site.